morning ladies and gentlemen welcome to the vlog i can tell you now my shoulders are feeling it yesterday after doing all that work above my head on the ceiling in the cellar and it's not quite over yet we're gonna have to go back in this morning which is where i'm heading right now and we've got the cask room to do and also add some lights to the main cellar itself so welcome along to the vlog let's go into the brew shed and do some work so here we are back in the cellar we are cellar dwellers that's for sure that needs reconnecting look at that it's not on right is it anyway <laughs> distracted immediately so what i'm going to do i'll just turn the fan off so y'all can hear me y'all and uh i'm going to actually go for sticking the insulation up first before i do the lighting i think that's probably the best way of doing it and then we've got all the insulation work out of the way and we can concentrate on the electrics and that will allow any foam sealant that i put up along the edge to cure meaning that when we come around to working on it i can trim the edges nice and neat uh, all this foam's gone off now so where i had to fill rather big crappy holes i can trim all this nice and neat so it looks a lot better much more presentable fill any gaps and then that can be curing while i'm working on the electrics and then if i need to touch anything up i can come back to it when it's cured i think that would be a sensible approach and then i've got to drill some holes in the wall it's not nine o'clock yet so i probably don't want to be doing that now because we do have a hmo above the pub and there are people possibly up there still in bed so i'd rather not wind them up with drilling so early in the morning so insulation it is let's do this first so this is the room that we're going to work on we have to trim back what we've already got there this black um membrane if you like figure out where the electrics are take them down where i've got to take them down and then put up the new sheets we're making progress we've got this one installed light back up i think it looks really neat actually i'm just going to go around the edges and trim the expanding foam but vapor barrier and insulation installed perfect i've also managed to get the light up in here I've just got to kind of put the cables up onto the ceiling now and tie them up nice and securely. And I've got this light in here. And wow, I must say, it's fantastic. And it really does show you the condition of that back wall. So behind that wall is all the backfill for the bridge, the Carrollgate Bridge. Uh, so we are literally standing underground at this side. You might be able to hear above us people talking. But look at the state of that. So this was a coal shed or coal room, I guess, at some point, I believe. Certainly what it looks like. There's some coal in the corner down there. Which I feel like digging out, actually. But I might just leave it there for posterity. So we need to get some kind of, I don't know, insulating vapour barrier. Or some hygienic boards or something against this wall. To prevent that mould com coming through. There's no point painting it. And then we can have a look at putting some racking in here for some dry storage. And as you can see, the Vision and the Index 21 fit perfectly in that corner. They're not on yet at the moment. I do also need to extend this and give us another double socket so we don't have to have this hanging off. Don't like it. And then in here, uh, I did want to do some electrical work but I can't remember what it was so it doesn't matter and then outside which I don't think I'll get there today we've actually ordered some festoon lights for the beer garden so it's uh, Friday the next day I really went against the clock and managed to get the festoon lighting up yesterday just before we opened and then, uh, well, I sat in the beer garden and had some ciders and enjoyed it. So this is what we've put up. It's professional grade stuff. 
and the lights are 2 watt LED they're not very they're not very uh, bright which is perfect but there's enough illumination for the garden because there are 60 of them I think it looks rather nice of course you're not going to get the full effect until the evening so what I had to do was get some of the old cable sorry about the wind I haven't got a microphone on it's just the phone I got some of the wire that we strung the side on wire canopies up with I had to drill some new holes a little bit higher than where they previously were but uh, I think it, it worked out rather well and we managed to get them up within like three hours it took me and most of that time was screwing in the light bulbs so the beer garden really is coming on nice it's looking very pretty need to do something about the aphids on these roses though we've already got rid of the ants aren't they lovely do you remember what they were called Gem? I can't remember what name it was Honey Melody or something like that. The peonies are coming to the end of their life cycle. We'll probably want to just snip these off so it doesn't waste energy making seed heads. <laughs> so, just like that, we come to the end of another week. Uh, we just nipped across to B&Q, by the way, to pick up some PIR insulation, which we're putting here. No, no. I know what you're thinking. It looks like a cannabis grow room. It's not. Although we'd probably make more money doing that than what we're making here. And I <laughs> so yeah, on the way back, just before I digress again, saw that kid on the push bike oh, like it was stuck in first gear it was very funny to watch anyway let me flip the camera around we'll have a walk and talk around the improvements I've made to the cellar and of course I've got terrible hay fever today so I'm going to sneeze so uh, I'll do that off camera ok so first things first let's come into what is now the uh, vegetable storage area and in my opinion a greatly improved one now that light is giving off a little bit of glare on the camera. Oh, excuse me, the pollen count's really high today. So yeah, this light's giving off a bit of glare on the camera and it looks a lot smaller than it actually is. Well, let's see if I can get a slightly better angle. It might give you a better idea of how big it actually is. It's a good uh, six by four shed. You know, if you're thinking in terms of size, and these plastic shelves, of course, are easy to keep hygienic. Just a quick wipe down. I didn't want to put any of the other shelves, you know, with like the MDF shelving units or chipboard shelving units in there because obviously the cellar can be quite a damp place. So plastic's ideal, even though they are a little bit on the flimsy side for holding veg and stuff like that. I think it's just going to be perfectly fine. That one's opening actually to breathe, doesn't it? I can see a bit of condensation in there. So cauliflower, onions, potatoes, fine down here in the cellar, cool and dark. I never did get round to putting another double socket in there, but I can do that next week. And these two units are really quite happy. You can see this at at about zero degrees. Everything's working fine. We've got condensation up on here, which means that the cask line cooler is doing as it should. And hopefully, we're at the correct temperature. In fact, we're a little bit cold. So, let's turn it down a touch. Don't want to upset all the beer drinkers. I'll come to that in a minute. And then in here, as you've already seen many times, insulation on the ceiling, tidied everything up, sealed the edges of the ceiling to the wall because it was terrible, cleaned up on top of stuff like this. And then uh, the last thing that I've just done is insulate the door with the uh, foil bubble wrap kind of stuff and it looks a lot better than the expanding PIR foam kind of thing that we had on there before. So that's it folks, Stuart's getting geared up for the weekend, obviously uh, 
Saturday tomorrow, I've plenty of beer in the cellar to sell to our happy customers. And, uh, oh, like I said, that's another week gone. So I guess I'm going to have to call it a day. And we will see you on a vlog at some point next week when I'll probably be consumed by hay fever because they've given like a bad forecast for hay fever sufferers over the next couple of weeks in June. But at least it'll be sunny. So thanks a lot, folks. Do all the usual stuff. Please go and vote for us in the North Knots Business Awards if you haven't done already. And don't forget, you can always pop across to the shop at harrisonsbrewery.com forward slash shop to pick up some of our very own Harrison's Brewery beers. We'll see you on the next video, folks. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Ciao for now. Cheers.